Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and I'm super excited to do this video. Uh, I stole the idea from a friend of mine. Whenever he gets a new deck, he does this kind of like unveiling video. So I stole the idea from him. Props to you, Nico. Sorry, I'm stealing it. Um, because I just got a new deck and I'm super excited about it and I want to show it off to you. I'm also going to give a little shout out to my super awesome boyfriend who... Um, I guess fiance, <laughs> recently engaged, um, who went out to, without my knowledge and while he was out in the city, we live outside of the city, not by it. So when he went up to the city, he went to the hippie store and got me a present and came home with this new tarot deck. So I like to say that it kind of like found me. <laughs> he picked it out um, with some help from the shopkeeper, but he's not really into all this woo-woo stuff, so uh, he did a really good job, actually, because I absolutely love this deck, so props to him. So I got, and if you are, you know, familiar with tarot or, you know, you know a lot about the decks out there, this is not going to be some, like, super underground kind of deck. It's I've heard about it a lot, but I've never seen it. I really like my Radiant Rider Weight deck. I use it all the time, as you've seen in my videos. Um, it's not the only deck I have. I have a Black Cat Tarot deck, but I use that just specifically for me and when I'm doing readings on myself. But when I'm doing things on video or readings for other people, I use the Radiant Rider Weight. And so I'm super excited that I got this Gilded Tarot deck. Gilded Tarot deck. So as I said, you might be aware of what it is, but I was really excited to get it. It's a very large box. It's pretty thick, if you can see. Um, and when you open it, it's just got it all, like, packaged, like, in the... There's a little indent for your cards. Um, I did already open them because I opened them the night he brought them home. I couldn't help myself. Um, the book I haven't opened yet. Here's the book. It's a pretty thick book. I haven't flipped through it yet, so this is the first time I'm flipping through it. Um, it's pretty standard, it looks like. Explanations of the cards. Majors. It does have, that's pretty cool, it does have a little page there to um, write notes if you want to take notes on things. And it looks like there's one of those for each of the cards. So that's cool. It's going through the minors by suit. Yeah. Okay. Standard book. Um, what really caught my attention about these, because I said I did already flip through them, I really initially, right out the gate, I liked the back. Here's the back of the card. I really like that back. Um, and then I started to flip through them, and of course the majors were on top, and I've shuffled them, so now I'll have to look for things. But, <laughs> but I'll edit this so we don't have to you know, sit there while I shuffle through things, but they are, like this one here is the moon. There's some, there's astrology aspects, but then there's some kind of like gadget and gear, and I'll show you here in a second, that kind of makes it like a little steampunk-ish to me. I don't know if that's really clear or if you can see that. Those like gears there. Um, and not all the cards have them, but a lot of them do. So, as I'm just flipping through here, I'm sweating them back out into major and minor so I can more easily show you what's going on here. I guess I should have done that first. Okay, so, right out the gate, I noticed, you know, the first card on top is going to be the Fool. And I noticed that he is juggling the astrological signs. And that was my first introduction to this deck. Of course, after the back, but I didn't know that this was kind of a mixture of like tarot and astrology, it seems. I was unaware of that. So, as I said, I didn't have any um, prior information about this deck. So, as I go through that, I see that's kind of a recurring theme, like, like the steampunk kind of thing. Uh, it's not in every card, but it's definitely throughout the deck. Here's the Wheel of Fortune that's also got the, I don't know if that's clear there, that's also got the astrological symbols on it. Um, the Empress has got the symbols. So it's definitely throughout the deck here. And I did show you the wheel, but I'll show it to you again because not only does it have that astrological aspect that I was showing you, but it also, if you 
you can see on the bottom there, it's also got that kind of gears. So that's a good illustration of how it's got both of those themes that I'm showing you. Um, so I want to show you a couple of my favorite cards from the Majors. The one that struck me straight out the gate, because this card is close to me, is the Justice card. I'm trying to get it without a glare. There we go. The Justice card. I absolutely love that card. And if you can't get a good um, viewing of it here, just Google it. I'm sure you can find it on Google Images or something. The uh, Gilded Tarot Justice card. So that is one of my favorites. I also really liked Death, if I can find it here. Of course, it's the last one. Um, I really liked that one. And uh, The Lovers, I think I passed that one already. I think that's kind of cute. It's, um, you know, it's kind of like he's lifting her up out of the water. But it's talking about lifting each other up to me. So those are the majors. And let me get into the minors here. The swords are, well, let me get one of each here. The swords are really cool. They've got these gold handles and silver blades with blue throughout them. And there's this like blue border on all of the swords card. There's another one, Six of Swords. They've all got that blue border on them. They don't all have a blue theme. Like if you look at the background of this one, it's kind of, you know, red and purple and orange, you know, that sunset color. But the border has got that blue. So then we have the um, Seven of, and of course that's representing air. So then we have the seven of pentacles, and these pentacles have this green border, and the pentacles are, um, you know, they're not circle like they are in the Rider Waite deck. They're actually like pentagrammed shaped, which makes sense. Um, but they have this like green on the inside. Let me see if I can get another one. Green on the inside with like little sun looks like a little sun to me on the inside of those. I don't know if you can see that well. And again, they all have um, the green border. And of course, that's representative of Earth, the element Earth. Then we have, let me see here, the Seven of Cups. These are just like in random order. I've already shuffled them, so I'm just kind of going through them. But it's funny that I've done two sevens in a row. Okay, so here I have the seven of cups and I find this really interesting because cups I associate with water but they have a um, red border around them instead which is fine um, or orange I guess orange border around them um, which normally makes me think of fire but you know whatever so here we've got the different cups and it's got you know, if you know what the Seven of Cups and the Radiant Rider Weight deck has in it, they've got, you know, snakes and dragon heads and things. And this is kind of different. This is a little more, um, I don't know, pretty, I think. Maybe it's just my style of pretty. <laughs> so, um, and the cups themselves are very goblet looking, whereas the Rider Weight one, they kind of have like an hourglass shape, and this one's more um, of a goblet shaped. So here's the Four of Cups. And there's some, you know, rats or rodents and squirrels up there. And then I have the Six of Cups. I actually pulled this one aside as I was flipping through them because I really like this one. Um, <laughs> just personally. Because all of the cups here, all the goblets are full of flowers of different colors. And then you've got this like adorable little cat just chilling in the grass. That made me super happy. <laughs> okay, enough of this. Then we're going on to the wands, and on top here I have the four of wands. And the wands are um, a little thicker here, and they have like an engraving. And then the tops have these like crescent moon shapes, or like nose ring shapes. I'm just they're making me think of nose rings. Um, 
and you can't really see it in this picture, so maybe this is a bad first one to start with, but you can at least see the detail on the rods. The um, outside of it, as you can see, is red and red fire, fire and wands. Um, but I really like the detail on all the wands, and they all have that, um, like, ribbed, you know, they've got the wood with the ribs. If you can see that, the gold. Okay, so let me find another one here because I've got some different things on top. Let me find another wand. Here's another wand. Okay, um, this one actually you can see the little like nose ring shape on the top of the wands a little better. See that little like hook down there. You can see it really well against his back. Um, so all of the wands have that kind of little shape on the top, which I super love. So let me just take another minute and see if there's, here's the ace, ace of swords. So, yeah, just seeing if there's anything else that's really, ooh, I really like this one, ace of cups. I really like them all. I mean, I could just be here all day. Like when I opened them the evening I got them, I literally spent like an hour just flipping through them and like really studying each card in detail and just like totally loving on these. Eight of Swords. I don't have any real attachments to any of the miners to show you, you know, one that I like better than another. I just think they're all really cool. So that's what I've got. This also, I have to point out, this also came with, um, so if this is a good starter deck, I mean, obviously it's got the book and the cards and it's, I think it's intended to be a starter deck. Um, but it also comes with some little spreads, two little cards of spreads to tell you and, you know, it tells you what they do. So it is very much like how to start out, but I don't know if I really would have loved them as much as I do now if I got them as a starter deck um, because I really have evolved into like a hybrid of the tarot with the astrology, you know, with the love for astrology. So. I think if I got it as a starter, I might not have appreciated it as much as I do now. But I really do love this deck, and I thought I would share it with all of you. So thanks so much for entertaining me and, um, you know, dealing with my, <laughs> my very basic unveiling of this new box set that I got. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time.